सरबकाल म्यूजिकल गुफ्तगु में आप सभी दर्शकों को सुरभिशील का प्यार भरा नमस्कार आदाब सत श्री अकाल डॉटर्स आर एंजल्स सेंट फ्रॉम अबव टू फिल आर हार्ट्स विद अन एंडिंग लव एंड इफ द डॉटर्स आर एज टैलेंटेड एंड ब्लेस्ड एज आर यंग गेस्ट टू नाइट देन इट्स अ ब्लेसिंग फॉर नॉट ओनली फैमिली बट ऑल्सो कम्युनिटी नेशन and world in general please welcome our young and very talented and beautiful guest shakti ganesh a very warm welcome to you shakti thank you so much Andy. how are you doing today i'm good Andy. are how you are excited you? yeah very <laughs> okay i'm uh, and so it's a pleasure to have you here today thank you uh tell me about your journey okay so i'm shakti ganesh i'm 15 years old and i was just given the title miss team south calgary 2018 in march i have been thank you i have been learning tabla for the past 5 years at sarbakal indian classical music school and i have been learning bharatanatyam which is an indian classical dance for the past 12 years wow in shakti shetralaya dance school that's amazing thank you so 12 years and how old are you like i i believe i don't want to ask your age but uh, which which grade are you in i'm in the 10th grade so i'm 15 wow wow and so you're learning classical uh, dance yeah, uh, bharatanatyam yeah classical yeah uh, for past 12 years who's your who's your teacher it's actually my mother kritika ganesh from shakti chitralaya dance school that's that's great yeah that's great so how did it all start like uh, Well, my mom was actually uh she started dancing when she was 6 years old in India mm-hmm. and when she came to um Calgary uh 14 years ago mm-hmm. we uh started a dance school here to kind of expand our religion here in Calgary mm-hmm. and um she started teaching dance for kids and I started when I was 3 years old and I've continued since that's that's very good and you've continued the classical i think bharatanatyam what i've heard is a very classical rigorous form of dance yeah it is so uh how does the training uh go and uh, like what what routine do you follow well i come back from school every single day and um school is also really important to me yes, absolutely and after i finish my homework i try to practice for like at least 2 to 3 hours per day really? because without practice like you can't make anything really perfect and dance is a huge part of my life. I've been dancing forever. I can't imagine my life without it. So I try to practice like 2 to 3 2 to 3 hours per day. 2 to 3 hours. Yeah. And how do you cope with your studies then because studies and you're in grade 10 so yeah. they are getting like more and more demanding each day and mm-hmm. you're in Henry Wise Wood which has um like really good rigorous study uh, yeah. you know curriculum as well. Yeah. So how do you cope with dance schedule as well as your studies like well honestly i have to thank my parents a lot like they are a huge help for me they have managed like my time schedule really well they've taught me how to manage my time schedule because my parents are really busy too with work and everything and honestly they've been in, they've been like a huge inspiration for me to like kind of keep my time managed and like kind of If I have a test on Friday, then start studying on Monday and slowly work up to Friday. So by Thursday, I already know everything. That's good. Cool. Like cramming on the last day. That's 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 awesome. And you're learning tabla as well. Yeah, from um, Sarbakal Academy. Oh, yeah, that's amazing. You're one talented girl. Oh, Every parent you. would like to have. <laughs> so uh, tell tell us about your tabla journey. Well, I have been learning um tabla for the past 5 years from Sarbakal Academy with uh, uh Guruji and um I I love it. It's amazing. Like the first time I played tabla, I didn't realize how much like how much fun it would be. Like my fingers naturally just like wanted to play. I just love love doing it. I love it so much. Rhythm is all already in you because of the yeah, dance, dance and, and then tabla it's it just adds to it. Yeah, definitely. So. Okay. Yeah. That that's amazing. So n- kids now like kids in in today's world especially um are in this part of the world um and especially Indian kids they they do not too much like um classical or or yeah. cultural things going on because of so many influences. So how do you cope with the peer pressure. Yeah, it's actually kind of disappointing to see a lot of um like even my some of my Indian friends 
they're so like washed by this Canadian culture and I try to like this is, this is one of the main reasons my mom started a dance school in the first place. She wants to like teach other kids our history and I also am like a dance teacher's assistant at my mom's school and I try to teach like the younger kids and I'm like this is what our religion is, this is what our culture is, this is who we are and just because we live in a different country doesn't mean we should just like forget everything and forget all of our ancestry and all of our history. Yeah. That's that's very important, mm -hmm. and when one is grounded to the to the roots, mm -hmm. then I believe that you know one can flourish even better Definitely, because yeah. because the, the the more roots are grounded, the mm -hmm. tree is even better. Yeah. You know, the branches uh, flower more. So that's that's amazing on the parts uh, of your parents. Yeah. Kudos to them <laughs> and kudos to you as oh, well for you. for for keeping and continuing that that belief and that discipline. Mm -hmm. Tell us about uh, the times when uh, you had faced some sort of um, peer pressure or uh, you know you, you wanted to do, do something else but you had to do you had to stick to dance and uh, you know right. do something like that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well uh, like the school play for example I didn't want to join that but then they have rehearsals every single day and they have rehearsals on Saturday and Sundays and throughout the week. But it takes up a lot of your time and at one point you have to think, like, do you wanna who what do you wanna do? Like do you wanna go to the school play that's only practice for six months and you perform for three days? Or do you wanna practice like something you're really passionate about? In my case it's dance. So like I try to stick with dance as much as I can. Even if I do have to miss some things, it's truly worth it at the end. Yeah, I believe so. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does your tabla routine work? Yeah, so after dance class, I do tabla practice too. Every single day? Every single day. because For how long? Um, From one hour to, well, it depends on the homework I have. So like one hour to like 90 minutes. I try to practice every single day. And it's, it's like you can see how much you improve once you start to practice. Oh, yes. Like definitely. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. They, they make the sayings. Not not based on anything else, but the but the yeah. fact practice makes a person perfect. perfect yeah. So it, it surely does. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the the thing that I wanted to know from you is, kids these days your age mm -hmm. are a lot a lot into Netflix and YouTube mm -hmm. and whatnot. So how do you uh, manage to? you know, get yourself acquainted with, with what's going on in the world mm -hmm. to talk about uh, those things with your, you know, friends. friends because you have to be, you have to keep yourself abreast with that yeah. as well. So how do you cope with that? Well, I'm not going to lie, I do watch Netflix and I do watch YouTube, but I kind of like try to, like, I'm not just an Indian girl, I'm also a Canadian girl. Like, I try to like stay with like the Canadian culture too, because I've been, I was, raised here yes. and I naturally like love western music and like I love Netflix shows and I still watch all of that stuff but I also try to stay like in touch with my roots as well because I can't forget who I am yes. right and yes kids at school do say um you're gonna go to practice on Saturday can't you just like be a normal kid for one day because in the dance class it takes the entire day I start at seven in the morning on Saturdays and then I stop at like 4 or 5 in the afternoon. Dance takes the entire day because I'm teaching kids as well. So I don't get to go to the mall with my friends or like wake up late on Saturdays on the weekends or whatever. And I have to deal with that because I, you, at one point you can't really listen to what people really say. You've got to like stay true to yourself. If you think this is what you believe in, then you should just do it. That's very wise of you at this age. I think that's really commendable and, and again, hats off to your parents. <laughs> Thank you. That's really good. Um, I recently heard, I, I heard that you recently won some, some pageant. You, you mentioned that, yeah. uh, you know, uh, at the start of the show, uh -huh. that uh, you won a pageant. Tell us about Yeah, that so that pageant was um, um, the Miss Teen Alberta pageant in, and it actually happened in Calgary. Um, exactly a month ago, actually, and I was awarded the Team South Calgary 2018. Congratulations! Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. And I'm representing Alberta at Nationals in Toronto this summer. 
for that's, Miss Teenage Canada. Wow, that's we, we will talk about this a little later. But coming back to your dance and tabla routine, mm -hmm. and um, so uh, you said you have 12 years of ex of, of uh, training now. How, like, what, what more? What next? Where do you see yourself next? Well, in, in, in both tabla as well as in Bharatanatyam. Well, I want to keep learning and I hope that one day I can be a teacher just like my mother and a teacher for Tapla just like Guruji and I want to like teach other kids, teach the future generation about our culture and about our, because our culture is so rich and so diverse, like it's not just plain or like not just simple, it's so diverse, like there's so much knowledge in the world to gain and I want to share that knowledge with the kids in the future too. And do you want to do that full time or with pursue any other profession as well? I want to become a pediatric neurosurgeon. Wow. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Thank you. You want to become a pediatric neurosurgeon mm -hmm. and then you want to pursue tab tabla as yeah. well as the dance. Yeah. Wow. How are you going to get that much time? Well, for, for I'll have to manage it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of kids here that go to university and kind of like stop like or Tabla or whatever their, whatever their passion is. And if it's truly your passion, you should continue. If you truly are interested in this, you just continue. Because like, Bharatanatyam and Tabla are like an ocean of knowledge. You can keep learning again and again and again. It's endless. Yeah. You can never find the end. Yeah. You can never graduate or anything. So, that's true. yeah, that's true. That's amazing. And, and uh, I really, really commend your spirits and uh, Thank your... You your persistence and your passion for it because with, without passion nothing is possible that's like true, it's, yeah. it's, uh, it's amazing um, that that you kept that fire in you for, for <laughs> keeping that going yeah, very good 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 stuff thank you um, now coming back to uh, your pageant mm -hmm. I think that's that's really amazing that at this young age you went for the Miss Teen Alberta mm -hmm. and represent and, and won. Congratulations once again Thank for you. it. How did you come to know about it? Well, actually, um, I went to the Lilac Festival last year, and okay. um, the bunch of the winners from last year were on like the were in the parade, and I was like, wow, that's amazing, because my mom actually was uh, Miss Madurai in 1994 in India. And I saw old pictures of her, and I saw old videos of her, and I was like, that's amazing. I've always wanted to, like, kind of, like, do something like that. Like, mm -hmm. kind of bring out, like, who I am to, like, the entire world. Mm -hmm. And I thought this is the perfect opportunity. So I told my parents, and they were so supportive of me. Like, they're a huge help for me. And um, they were like, yeah, go ahead, follow whatever path you choose. Like, at the end, it'll reach something good. Oh, yes. And I, yeah, so I decided to join that. Okay. Yeah, and I think the pageant is a great way, once again, to show our generation today, our society today, like, what India is. Like, even for my pageant, we're supposed to have a talent section, and I'm going to be doing birth and to show, good, good. to show, like, Canada who I am, you know? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. That's Thank you. Amazing. Uh, we will continue the discussion on your pageant, yeah. uh, but for now we will take a break. A very warm welcome to all of you once again to the conversation between uh, uh, Shakti and myself. Uh, Shakti is the very talented Miss Teen Southern Calgary and her journey uh, in Bharatanatyam and Tabla and uh, I'm just loving this conversation with her. So I hope you are too. So let's continue. Gu means darkness and Ru means light. So when combined, Guru eliminates the ignorance and teaches new craft, new skills and moves one towards light or, or knowledge. So um, I strongly believe that uh, respect is, is so important and, and you said you, you learned it from your parents, Mata, Pita, Guru Devam, which is yeah. such a good thing. What what can you suggest the new people, the, the, the younger generation, how to inculcate that? Okay, just just by believing, just by saying oh, Mata, Pita, Guru Devam, that you have been taught. But what, what message do you want to give to the younger kids of today to, to show that respect? And how can they show respect to their parents, to their teachers? 
Uh, what what would you suggest to to our young viewers? Well, I would suggest by like first start listening to people, because once you start to like get rid of that ego or ignorance you have in your life, you'll truly start to like acknowledge everything around you. Like your guru and your parents aren't trying to destroy your life; they're trying to like lighten your life. They're trying to give you more knowledge so that you're successful, just like them in the future. If they tell you to jump off somewhere you should be asking how high not why should i jump be jumping off of here they're doing everything for you because that's what they believe is best for you and if you start to believe that too then your life has started yeah that's yeah. that's so true and having faith having that trust uh, is so important um, just just by having that faith in your faith, elders yeah. and 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 in their experience they have they have Definitely, uh, yeah you know gained it that uh, that way because of their experience and their age and everything mm -hmm. so that's good. very good very good Shakri uh, continue doing that and continuing uh, showing your friends and your peers uh, continue influencing mm -hmm. your friends also yeah. to do that what message would you want to give the younger generation Shakti well something I would definitely tell the younger generation is how practice makes perfect Without practice, you're not going to move on in anywhere in life. Like, you're just wasting your time going to class. You're spending one hour, maybe two hours in class every single weekend. And if you're not going to practice, then what's the point of even going? And also, commitment's really important. Like, if you've learned for five, six years so far, then why stop? You've put so much effort, so much work into this art form, and if you don't continue it, then you've been wasting your time all, this, all of these years, right? And procrastination is, like, a huge sin. If you're going to procrastinate and say, I'll just practice tomorrow, then what's the point? If you're not going to practice, then you're not going to move on. You're just going to be at the exact same spot you were in before. You're not going to go to the next step. You're not going to go to the next style. So if you practice and if you don't procrastinate, then you will be very successful in life. That's great. Thank you so much, Shakti. It was such a pleasure having you here in our studio and uh, pleasure talking to you. I have learned a lot from you. Um, so thank you. Thank you for the time and thank you for the message and the talk and we, we really, really enjoyed having you. All the best to you in your future thank for you. everything you do. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you so much for being with us in this conversation. Uh, viewers, if you liked, our conversation today with Shakti, please like uh, and leave a comment below and uh, please do subscribe to our YouTube channel for Sarvakal Musical Guptugu and uh, we would love your continued support. Thank you so much.